Hey guys, Colonel Liam here, and I uh, was going to do a video um, on how to replace the battery uh, in a Sony PSP uh, 2000, 3000, or 1000. Um, this particular model happens to be a th uh, 3000, but um, it would work with any of them. But basically, batteries for these are very hard to find. Well, the good batteries for these, I should say, are very hard to find. Uh, you can find the cheap made Chinese batteries anywhere. Uh, and a dead giveaway for those is the size for the battery that came um, from the factory in this thing is 1200 milliamps. Uh, whereas the 1000, I believe it's 1800 milliamps. But a dead giveaway for the Chinese batteries is you'll see ratings uh, so at, at sizes like 2400 milliamp or 3600 milliamp which is just uh, in, in the same you know shell as the factory battery and that's just not possible uh, it's a lie basically so to try to get you to buy the battery and so uh, you know I don't trust those kinds of batteries just because uh, you're gonna be carrying this thing around with you you don't want to have an unstable battery in it so uh, you know because anything can happen it's gonna be exposed to high uh, temperatures if you're outside things like that and you don't want to have a battery explode on you or um, overcharge or something like that so uh, and if you find a factory battery for this chances are even if it's sealed it's going to be several years old um, so those batteries do have a shelf life and it's uh, not not that long uh, not as long as these batteries have been sitting up for these things so uh, it's really hard to find a really good battery for these and I'm going to show you a solution to that issue uh, basically you'll take a uh, PSP and um, this will not work if you're wanting to retain your UMD drive so I suggest uh, getting one that the UMD drive is bad. This particular one uh, had a bad UMD drive and instead of replacing it I decided to attempt to install a uh, non-factory battery in one of these. Um, but basically anyway you'll need a unit that the UMD drive does not function uh, or one that you're, w you're willing to sacrifice the UMD drive in anyway. Um, but the uh, UMD drive you take it out it's just got uh, I should have uh, recorded that procedure but it's you know it's not hard there's four screws there's uh you can see the screw hole there and then there's one behind these uh, wires here um, right there and then there's two up top but uh, basically you take those four screws out uh, it pops right out I just went ahead and just pulled the ribbon I didn't even take this apart uh, there's a ribbon cable that goes under this plastic housing uh, basically I just jerked it out so because uh, I wasn't ever going to use it again so uh, you could even cut the ribbon cable um, if, if you're not wanting to use that UMD drive and anything else, this particular one had a bad laser uh, assembly, so it was going to have to be replaced anyway. But, um, but the, the battery that I'm using is a LG. Uh, it came out of a LG Leon uh, cell phone, a cheap uh, cell phone from Walmart. Uh, I can't remember even where I got it. I got it from somebody who needed it fixed, but... Uh, and it, I can't remember it had a broken screen or something but anyway this battery was fairly new the device wasn't very old so I got this uh, 18 20 milliamp hour battery which this battery is more along the lines of the size that would be in the uh, PSP 1000 so in this model um, that came with a two, 1200 milliamp hour battery this is actually gonna last a little bit longer than the factory battery that would come in this thing but uh, anyways the the uh, procedure is you'll have to buy a, uh, a PSP battery that uh, is designed for a PSP. So uh, this particular one came out of those. Uh, I just bought a cheap $6 battery off of Amazon. It doesn't matter as long as um, uh, it's designed to fit in this factory slot. So uh, this is one of those uh, Chinese batteries that advertise to be something like 2400 milliamp hours or something. So. Uh, basically, I ordered one of those just for this uh, chip here, just for this uh, circuit board. And um, basically, you need the circuitry to charge the battery and to as a pass-through for um, voltage and uh, battery percentage and stuff like that. This this provides all that for the PSP. But, um, but anyway, you'll need uh, one of these circuit boards. You'll disassemble uh, the battery. Basically, it's in uh, two halves. Um, it's just kind of sandwiched together. You basically just pry it open and then desolder your. Uh, there's one solder joint up here where this black wire is attached, and one down here where this red wire is attached. Uh, there's two solder points. You basically desolder them. And um, 
I, you can go ahead and you can leave the bottom plastic on this and uh, push it down onto the connectors here uh, or you could even take this out this has a little ribbon um, that attaches here it's got the header for for that uh, the female side for this connector and basically you can hot glue it in place but what I did is I just desoldered it um, because when I took it apart I bent the connector um, so it wouldn't it wasn't gonna work anyway so I just cut my losses uh, desoldered this and soldered these three jumper wires so basically you've got hot um, sense wire and then you've got uh, ground so um, and that's the order that it's in so right is uh, hot and left is ground and then in the middle you've got your blue uh, sense wire which it's blue in this case you can use any color um, that you want but I just it just made it easier for me to discern what's what uh, if I use a different color wire so uh, you can then you just solder it here or if you're if you're using the header you just press it down like I said and uh, hot glue it in place but basically once this chip is attached all you have to do is take any um, lithium style battery rechargeable battery anything that'll fit here uh, I'm planning on possibly getting something like a 2400 milliamp hour battery that'll that's a little bit wider that'll fit in this slot but uh, right now this this is working pretty good um, I've only been using it for about three or four hours, and um, battery life is pretty good. I, I expect to get something like eight or nine hours out of this battery uh, playtime, so um, it, you know it's decent. But the basically, your your positive wire is going to attach here, your negative wire is going to attach here, and depending on what kind of battery you have, uh, if it comes out of a cell phone, which I would recommend using some type of cell phone battery, Samsung. Um, these batteries are super cheap, and they're they're really good batteries. Um, but basically you, you've got a pin out of your battery and I just soldered to you know the negative and positive you don't need the the there's not a sense wire uh, the, the sense wire basically is for a temperature detection on the battery but um, that, that's not on the factory battery so you, you don't have to wire that up on one of these but um, basically you've got just the positive and negative and once that's wired up you're ready to go you just uh, hot glue everything down all this is hot glued down and um, that's that's it. I put this. Uh, let's see here. So I put this uh, door back on, and uh, that's what it looks like. I don't have this this particular PSP when I bought it. The uh, UMD door was gone, so I've got a UMD door ordered. Uh, but basically, you just stick it on there. Um, I'm not exactly sure if the hinges will work unless the spring is in place because there's a spring that goes right here that keeps the that makes the door spring loaded but I'm not sure if it'll attach without it I haven't gotten the door back in but uh, in worst case scenario I'm gonna just hot glue it down uh, and keep it like that because uh, I'm only gonna use this for an emulation machine I'm not gonna be playing UMDs I've got another one that'll play UMDs but that's uh, basically the procedure alright so that's it if you have any questions just ask me in the comments section um, the like I said the only reason that uh, I'm doing this is just because it's so hard to find good batteries for these and uh, These cell phone batteries are very very uh, Good and they have some high capacity ones that work much better than the Chinese made batteries that they sell for these PSPs uh, I saw a couple of tutorials on YouTube uh, About this, but they didn't really explain just a whole lot about it uh, so I figured that I would make this video and hopefully it helps uh, some of you that still have PSPs that are finding it hard to find batteries uh, and you could actually do this externally uh, if you had the UMD drive I, I like I think that you should buy a PSP that uh, you're gonna do emulation on because you can download all the games uh, on an SD card so you don't need the UMD drive um, and I think it looks a little better if you do away with the UMD drive. It fits in there nice uh, and, and it looks factory, but you could actually hot glue this um, externally or put it in another type of uh, battery housing and put it on the outside of the PSP and it would still work as long as it's wired up this way. But um, I think this looks better uh, than trying to do something like that. Um, I know a lot of people use uh, battery banks. You can actually find a uh, cable that plugs in here that uh, is terminated on a USB um, A type connector on the on the end, and uh, that will plug into a battery bank. Uh, and you can actually use a battery bank with these. So if you're going to do it externally, you might as well just use a battery bank. Because but anyway, 
Thanks, guys.